Hi Aquarius is with another general reading for the sign of Aquarius. Um, hello, my precious and beautiful friends around the world. Let's see what's here for us in the next week to come. Let's see what's here for us in the next week to come for Aquarius. If you do not um, like the shuffling, just move forward in the video to where the reading begins. And there's usually someone that will um, put a timestamp in the comment section. If there is not a timestamp there and you like to see one yourself, feel free to put one in. Current energy, current energy for Aquarius. Current energy for Aquarius. Current energy for Aquarius. Could be taking a little bit of time two of pentacles just could be taking a little bit of time i'm gonna it didn't come out it's just part of the story so let's see what else is here what is the current energy for aquarius current energy for aquarius ace of pentacles beautiful and that flipped didn't did you see okay, anyway i just felt like the energy and i can't remember if it did it for real but it kind of flipped out and went like this upright so um, just kind of interesting, like this new beginning that you're in now, Aquarius, could have been around you for some time, and maybe you weren't seeing it. Anyway, I don't want to start the reading before I'm ready to start, so I don't want to. Let me, let me continue on with the cards. <laughs> but the Ace of Pentacles is here. There's a new reality for us here, Aqua, for all of us. I'm an Aqua too, so um, let's... Oh, geez, it's just really strong energies. So we're moving. Sorry for the noise. I am um, in a more public place. <sighs> moving into the next wave of energy here for Aquarius. Moving into the next wave of energy. Devil in reverse, like that. There is that two of pentacles flipping out going to take a little bit of time here, um, but I do feel like it's on its way with the eight of, oh, you can't see all these. Let me move these. I have to get my bearings and I'll show you these cards. Well, what am I going to do? Let me see here. Well, I guess I can say for those of you who like to see the cards upright, they're upright for you today, <laughs> not in reverse how I usually show them to you. I am working on other ways, Aquarius, to show you um, the work. And let's get the guidance for this week for Aquarius, the guidance. This is just a week now that we're looking at. So have to remember that this is just a week's period, a week period of time. Guidance, guidance for Aquas, guidance for Aquas for the next week or so. Guidance for Aquas in the next, for the next week or so. Guidance for Aquas in the next week or so. Chariot, I love that. Guidance for Aquas, Eight of Pentacles, Eights here. Powerhouse, power in the house, my friends. There's power in the house. Yes, and I'm a dork. I know already. I know already. Okay, here we go. A lighter energy, a lighter energy when I get into this energy, a kind of a jovial lighter energy that I see here. A cheerful mentality, a lightness, a lightness of step. All right, so what do we have here currently for Aquas? Okay, let me get back into this energy. So the current energy, we have the Ten of Wands with the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. So you're, 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 ooh, this Ten of Wands. That Ten of Wands is a heavy, you're moving out of this heavy energy is what you're doing, Aquarius. You're moving out of this heavy energy. The energy is heavy, Ten of Wands. It's a heavier energy. It's a denser energy. I'm not going to say it's a low vibe energy. It's just a denser energy. Knight of Wands flipped over. Didn't come out. So that means that you're using a lot of strength now to push yourself out of this energy. Seven of Pen Seven of Wands. Yeah. You're, you're moving out of an energy where you could have been attacked in, at some point in the, in the past. There's something here in the past that you're moving out of. It's like you're coming up out of the trench and you're taking and your clothes got wet and this is the image that I'm being shown and I know it's an analogy and I'll make it quick 
Um, but you've come in out of the trench, your clothes are muddy and wet, and it's like you're peeling off these wet clothes that are clinging onto you, um, and you're peeling them off. You're moving into a new free kind of a place, but you're still a little bit in this old energy, um, but you're using a lot of passion now to move yourself. Again, I apologize for the noise. Move yourself um, into a brand new life for yourself. So you're using your strength, Aquarius. You know who you are with the Queen of Swords. Sorry, it distracts, and you might not even be able to hear it, but it distracts me and it takes me out of my, um, out of my zone. So here you are, Queen of Swords. This is you, Aquarius, and you are busy um, fighting for yourself right now. And I don't even know if you're fighting against other people at this point. You might even be fighting against your own old sets of beliefs about yourself or your own, uh, a world that you used to live in that could have been um a, a real hardship for you it takes time to move out of energetic lives it takes time to move out of that denser energy but i see you're doing it you're doing it very passionately and you're moving into a new reality and this is happening very right now for you very quickly or right now um so we're seeing a major energy shift for you currently a major energy shift and they're not really see we have the ace of cups here so there's a new loving opportunity, something that you love, something that you will love happening here for you. So it could be a new love happening for you. This did not come out. It just flipped over. So it's not a huge part of the story. So I think there's a new love for life, love for your career, love for your family. There is new love coming in here. Um, but what I like to see more in this case, what I like to see more, and I'm happy that it's here, is the Ace of Pentacles. A new reality is here for you. A new reality is here and it has the flavor of abundance. It has a flavor of opulence and of wealth and of success with the Ace of Pentacles. Look at all the keys that she has. Look at all the doors that are for her. She's very comfortable in who she is. She's not having to, to she's very comfortable with what she's wearing, how she has her hair. The home she has, the doors she has available to her. She's very comfortable with herself right now, isn't she? She's very comfortable. She's very happy. She doesn't care what other people think, right? She doesn't care. She's, she's come out of that old cycle where she cared about what people thought and she tried to please other people where she was a puppet of other people and she was in their, in their world before you were in someone else's world, Aquarius before you were in someone else's world and you have managed to now create your own world and you're stepping into your own reality and you're doing this as someone with individual strength. So I feel like this is a very individual journey for you. Yes, you could be single, but even if you are in a relationship, whatever you're doing is done in a very individual way. There was some major internal change within you that's allowing you to experience your own reality in a new and different and beautiful way. Could be a new job here for you, could be a new home, um, could be new money coming in in some way or another, uh, but, but this took um, a mighty power. This took an escape, uh, escaping, you escape the clutches of something to find, to find freedom. That's what you're doing right now. You're escaping the clutches, you're speaking your truth. You're defending yourself. You're standing in as a warrior for your own new beautiful beginning that you're creating. All right. So moving into the future here, um, we are we are looking at um, you moving into new energies. All right. You're you're moving into new energies. You have the five of pentacles um, that you're moving through. So there is some risk here for you in the next week. You might be feeling worried about money or about uh, losing connections with other people. You could be just needing more information or not having the future, um, not as we move into new experiences, even new realities, sometimes we, we're wanting information. We're wanting to know what happens in the future. We're wanting to know everything. We, we're, we're, we're wanting more information. And part of this journey is learning how to trust, learning how to trust our own spiritual teams, learning how to trust our own selves, learning how to trust that strength that we've developed within ourselves 
and the intuition that we've learned how to connect to, learning how to trust that. And the five of pentacles can, can come in when we can lose um, connection with that. And that happens sometimes as we move into new situations. We are not always connected to our intuition. We're not always connected to a sense of abundance. We sometimes flounder in and out of that energy. And I, I think that as you're working to manifest, because we have the five of pentacles with the magician, Next to the devil in reverse, we're learning how to manifest here. We we have the manifestation card in between two um, egoic lack energies, right? So you're really working, uh, you're really working to manifest now and to learn in a very defined way um, how to live in abundance, how to live in a in an abundance mentality. So um, you're. This next week that you're moving into, the next seven to ten days, you're going to be practicing this, working on this, working on manifesting, knowing your true sense, knowing how beautiful you are, knowing what your superpowers are, right? Knowing what your superpowers are, knowing how beautiful and profoundly abundant your, your future can be, knowing what kind of an impact you can have in the world around you, knowing this, having a knowing in this, because look what you've done here. You have done it. You have found success. You have entered a new reality. Okay, but you still sometimes have to fight the ego, right? Some of us have very strong egos because we have been through very strong events, right? We have had to have the ego in the past protect us, warn us, um, talk to us, make us understand um, the people that are unhealthy for us. And the ego was very much... The old ego was very much a part of that journey. And without the ego, where would we be today? Maybe not in the Ace of Pentacles, maybe not. Because the ego does have, a, the ego is us. It is part of us. It's our red flag warning system is what I use, what I like to call it. That's what I call it for me, for myself, because it helps me think of it in a loving way. But as we move into this new level, we, we are learning how to transmute the ego into something that's very helpful, into thinking very abundantly, into now leading us forward into new opportunities, taking our hand and guiding us in a very discerning way, in a very careful way, but in an abundant way into our future. And as we do that, as we grab hold of our spiritual team, as our spiritual team takes our hand and moves us forward into new realities, we have to step through fear. We have to step through the fear of finances. We have to step through the fear of um, failure, the fear of loss, uh, um, loss of money, loss of family, loss of friends, loss. We, we're, 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 st we're learning how to manifest and, and manifesting, even though we could feel scared at times, worried at times. This is Aquarius. So, so this is Aquarius on the frontier and it is hard to be the frontierman, frontiersman. It is hard. You know, I mean, all people who have been in the frontier struggle through fear. They really do. Soldiers struggle through fear. Pioneering people struggle through fear. Inventors struggle through fear. People who start new businesses struggle. It's a struggle. It really is. But but we persevere, don't we? We're tenacious when we have this new reality. Now we have something to step onto. Now we have something to see. You, there's something here that you're seeing. And it's adding strength to, to the magician right? It's adding great strength. So this is about working through the fear and the ego and learning how to transmute that into thinking very abundantly, thinking very powerfully about the future and making really, really good decisions, really discerning decisions about the people who are healthy for us, the events that are healthy for us, the situations that are healthy for us, and knowing when the right thing comes along, knowing when the right person comes along, knowing when the right cause comes along. It's about timing. It's about all of these things. So I really think even though this next week you could be worried about money, you could be worried about loss, you are going to put the work in because we have the two of pentacles. You, are, you understand this is your destiny. You understand this could take time. It's about making decisions. It's about making decisions in a very practical way. Two of pentacles for me is making decisions that will affect your life. Right. This is not making decisions about how you're thinking about something or making decisions about which action you want to take. No, this is making decisions about money. This is making decisions about things that you can touch, see, feel. Again, you have the Ace of Pentacles here, a brand new reality. Something major in your life is absolutely changing as we speak. It's changing right now as we speak. Right. And so you're understanding now that you're making decisions in the 3D. 
You have to be grounded at this point in time. Um, you have to be grounded. You have to stay very flat on the ground and make decisions about money, about your home, about cars and vehicles, uh, about how you're going to make movements. If you're going to be moving into a new home, it's about, okay, you go, you, how, how are you going to move your belongings? How are, what, are you going to keep your money in the same bank? Are you going to restructure what you have? This is making decisions about real life things and taking action with the eight of wands. All right. So we have, um, the five of, we have the five of pentacles, fear of loss, fear of disconnection, we have them manifesting throughout this energy, overcoming these energies, manifesting here, having clarity, having passion, putting the work in, knowing who you are, stepping through fear with the devil in reverse. Devil is in reverse here. So stepping through fear, no longer having it control you, no longer allowing fear to control you. Fear is just a, an emotion. It is not a fact, right? And then you have the two of pentacles making decisions about very real world things and taking the time and going through the motions and getting this done, right? Being very detail oriented. Now there is something here that's requiring you to be very detail oriented about life, about whatever you're doing. And the eight of wands is mo it's moving forward quickly. It's happening. Things are taking place, passionate action, a lot of excitement, a lot of things to think about, a lot of decisions to make, Maybe a lot of communications happening here for you in the next week or so, but they're feeling very good about it, feeling very excited, knowing that there's a beautiful new future here for you and taking action. You could be planning even, you could even be planning for the future. Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands is planning, actively planning, strategic planning, making decisions, pl making decisions about what actions you'll be taking. Right. So it's a, it's a really beautiful energy. And yes, is it going to be hard? Yes. Some, some time, some moments in the next week or so, um, you will be stepping through fear. You might having to be having to make decisions that you would not have been able to make two years ago or five years ago. But I see you powerfully stepping in and with who you are here with the Queen of Swords. What is the guidance for the next week? We have the Page of Pentacles and I love this energy. This is the energy of seeing real significant changes. Okay. It's not, well, we do have the Ace of Pentacles. That's what I was going to say. Well, the Page of Pentacles is not normally like that, but it's coming with the Ace of Pentacles. So you're seeing movement now. You're seeing evidence. You're seeing the reality of this new life, right? You could be seeing increased money. You could be seeing increased, um, changes or new changes in your relationship. You could be seeing the contract coming through for your new job. You could be seeing, you could be closing on your new home, right? With a page of Pentacles. So there's something that's happening here in the future that will bring in evidence of this new life, All right? Evidence of the new life, evidence of the new reality. For those of you who do not have anything new going on right now, this could be in your future, but this is for a group of people who are actively experiencing something new in their life. If, if there is some, if there is someone here um, who's feeling trapped, who knows they have to make decisions, who is entering into some sort of battle here to, to find freedom for themselves, this could be in your future. But for, for this group of you, you are actively experiencing now a new life in some way, a new reality, new improved finances here with the Ace of Pentacles, new improved home life, new improved reality. Okay, so you're seeing evidence of that in the future. Eight of Pentacles here. So we have two eights, right? Powerful, powerful. And then it's with the chariot. So there's powerful movement. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is this is the guidance here to stay in your own lane. This is a very important time, Aquarius. Stay in your own lane. Work hard on what you're doing. There is abundance here for you. Don't get distracted by other people's drama, other people's platforms, you know, there, this is a reminder that the true energy source is source energy. The true energy comes from being in alignment. It comes from meditation. It comes from connecting in with the divine. It comes with connecting into yourself. That's the true power. Other people can create fake energy. It's not fake energy. It is real energy. It's drama. It is distraction. It's not fake energy, but it's not the type of energy that will move you forward in your own lane. If you feed off of the generators of others instead of source energy, 
that energy that comes from the heavens or from Mother Earth or the energy that inspires you. If you focus on other people's energies, other people's generators, you can get distracted quite easily. You can get pulled into other people's drama. This Eight of Pentacles is the energy of staying in your own lane, minding your own business, knowing what a profound future is ahead of you, and knowing at this point in time, this is how you're going to reach your new life, whatever that is for you. This new reality, this is taking advantage of that now, putting your head down, focusing only on that, letting other people be in their own lanes, taking care of their own business, right? So this is staying very focused in what you're doing. This is a very important time for you, Aquarius. And it's going to be a profound year for many Aquarians, right? For all of us, it's profound. And so this is the guidance to stay in your own lane, keep your head down, keep working on this. Don't get distracted here. Don't allow other people to distract you with whatever their dramas are, because there is an important future here for you, Aquarius. And then we have the guidance of the chariot, a cancer energy. This is the energy of staying focused. See the driver? See all the calamity and all the chaos that's going, that's going on in this situation? I know it's not focused, but as we move in, see the driver? Ha, he knows where he's going. He's stable. He's got his pedal, to, his foot with a pedal to the metal. He's, he knows exactly where he's going. He knows what the route is. He knows where the protection is. He knows how to get there. Look at how strong his vehicle is. He's a powerhouse. He's not letting anything distract him. He knows that there's a protection team for this star. He knows that there's protection. He knows what his job is, and he's focused on getting this person, whatever this situation is, He's focused on getting this person to where they need to go. That's all that he has in mind. So we have a very strong energy here of staying in your own lane. It couldn't be much clearer, could it? It couldn't be much clearer, Aquarius. It really couldn't. Let me clarify this Ace of Pentacles. Just a few more energies here with the Ace of Pentacles. Tell us more about this Ace of Pentacles, please. Tell us more about the Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Empress. All right, I'll hold these cards up to you. So, so we have the King of Pentacles coming out. So there could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, King of Pentacles. But remember, what does the King of Pentacles do? What does it see Aquarius? I'm in a different location this week and I don't have my normal lighting and I'm not in my normal place. And it's a little bit harder for the camera to focus. But what does a cat, what does a King of Pentacles do? He takes action. So this could be a male or female, but this person is busy taking action now. Well, now we have the King and Queen. No, we don't have the King and Queen of Pentacles. We have two Queens of Swords here. The King of Pentacles takes action to bring in stability and wealth and abundance into the home, into the workplace, into his own environment. All right, whether this is a male or female energy. So this is taking action now to secure in your stability, secure in your money, secure in your home, secure in your own protection for the future. So there could be someone around you who is the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that you're connecting in with here. It could be a spouse, a lover, a work partner, a boss. There could be a new boss. You could have landed a new position here. Um, you could have started your own business with the King of Pentacles. So this could be a person or it could just be you, All right? Because I think for many of you, it's you creating your own abundance, creating your own new future. So it could be a new job. You could have a new boss. Um, there's someone here who is a part of this picture for you. Um, but again, it could be your own self doing this for yourself as well. Then we have the Queen of Swords here. So we have the Queen of Swords twice. This is definitely you. So again, you could be connecting in with this King of Pentacles here, a boss, somebody that works with money, somebody that has his own business. You could be your own new boss now with the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords with um, the King of Pentacles, you could be your own boss. You could be um, expressing yourself. You could be marketing yourself. You could be defending what you're doing. You could def be defending your change, your choice, your job change to a King of Pentacles in your life. But whatever this is, this is gaining steam now. This is happening for real with the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is here twice. 
Page of Pentacles is here twice. So there's some new evidence, something happening currently that is cementing this in, that is making this a reality. It's no longer can be denied and no longer can be questioned. All right. If this is the Empress energy is coming out here for you, um, Aquarius. Creativity, something very creative, very nurturing. Um, this is a grower, a grower of love, a grower of the garden, a grower of causes. She grows and expands. She creates it. She can dream it up. She can dream it up. She's connected to Mother Earth. She can, She's connected to the sky, to the heaven. She's connected to the water. She's connected to the air. She's connected to the fire, right? She has connections to everything. And she's really working in a very balanced way to bring in this new reality for herself. Okay, later on in the extended, I'll look at the people around you and we'll see if any of these people come back out. All right, so let me see if there's anything, any other energies here that, let's look at this devil in reverse. There's some energy around the devil in reverse. Why is the devil here in reverse? Why is the devil, wrong deck, let me use this deck. Why is the devil here in reverse? This is just for a week to 10 days, so... Why is the devil here in reverse? Ace of Cups. Manifesting new love, Aquarius. Manifesting new love for life. Overcoming this fear with love for self, love for the world. Ace of Cups doesn't have to be intimate, romantic love. There's lots of different ways to love. There's a thousand different words and different languages for love. It doesn't have to be one thing. This is having a passion for life again, not being scared of life. Not being scared of the world, but loving the world and knowing how to step through fear, how to step through the darkness, how to love oneself, even when we know what our weaknesses are, to love ourselves and to shine our light out, even when we have come to terms with who we are, fully who we are. So there is some kind of egoic work here, hermit energy, wisdom, Vir Virgo energy here, wisdom, shining the light for others. Ace of Wands, a brand. Now we have two aces here. There is an, oh, damn. See, I could feel where there's still energy. So there's wisdom here. There's shining a light for others. You have learned how to, to really command this devil energy. You have lassoed the devil energy. You have lassoed it. You can control it. You can run with it. This is the shadow. This is having true wisdom. The hermit energy experiences life, goes into the cave, goes in seclusion and really digs deep to see why whatever happened happened. Why did this happen to me? What role did I have in this? How did I become an accomplice in this? Learning the truth of that, looking at the ego, looking at the shadow within ourselves and seeing it and managing it and working with it and coming to grips with it and moving out of that fear saying, I can command this, I can control this, I can move with this, I can walk tandem, hand in hand with my spiritual team. And there's new love here. There's new passion. We have the Ace of Cups with the Ace of Wands. So when we learn how to manage the ego, when we learn how to manage our weaknesses, we can come into true power with our, with our, in ourselves and we can begin again in life with new love and new passion for life. For some of you, this is new love coming in, a new romantic love. For others of you, this is new love for life, new love for the world, new love for you, your community, new love for yourself. And then we have passion and fire and chemistry and new actions taking place. All because the devil's in reverse. Do you see that it's the key? What we once feared, once, what, what we once ran away from, the devil energy, right? When the devil was in the upright, we ran away from it. We hid it. We avoided to look at it. We didn't want it in our light, love and light. We didn't want it anywhere around us. But what happens when the devil goes in reverse? We can step into it. We can see it. We can stare it down. We can stare it down. We've learned the power of the light. We have learned the power of love and light. It's powerful. Love and light is gritty. It's gritty and it's powerful. And when we learn that, the shadow goes in to re, into reverse and here comes the new world. That's the key. The key to moving forward 
is the, is the devil in reverse. Stepping into fear, stepping into the ego, managing the weaknesses within us, and not hiding from that. Loving yourself fully, that is the key to the future. And that is opening doors for you. See all the keys to all the doors? All the keys to all the doors are here. Beautiful. Okay, Aquarius, I'm going to move into the extended. We are going to look at moving this out a few months into the future. We're going to dig deeper here into this Ace of Pentacles and to the King and Queen of the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. We're going to dig deeper into that. We're going to dig deeper into this new love and this new passion. All right, so we're going to dig deeper into that. We're going to dig deeper into the Eight of the Eight of Wands as well. But what I'm really curious about and what I'm going to look into are the people who are around you moving into the future. Who are the people around you and what are their intentions? All right. So what I'm going to do in the extended is look deeper into these cards, these energy. Oh, you can't see them. So I'm going to look deeper at the Ace of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. So I'm going to look deeper at that. I'm going to look deeper at this Ace of Cups, the new love. I'm going to look deeper at the new passion that's here. And I'm going to look deeper into the eight of wands when i'm done with that i'm going to move this out into the future into the beginning of next year maybe into march and when i'm done with that i'm going to lay out who are the people around you and what are their intentions so that's the plan for the extended all right thank you very much aquarius as always it is truly a pleasure to read for you i wish you all the best thank you all very much beautiful friends